how to connect Canva to Anaton step by step. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can connect Canva to Anaton step by step. Whether you are automating design workflows or pulling in content from Canva to use in other tools, this integration can save ton of time. So here's what we will do in this video. We will walk you through the exact steps to connect your Canva account to Anaton using Auth2 and then I will show you how to verify the connection inside your Anaton workflow and finally we will test it to make sure everything works smoothly. Now once uh, this connection is built you will be able to create automatically fetch designs, assets or templates from Canva, use Canva content into multiple step or automation workflows and even you can trigger action based on design updates. It is perfect for content creators and marketers. So let's get started. First thing first, what you have to do is create an account in Canva if you don't have any account into Canva. Uh, I am assuming that you obviously created an account into Anaton. This is a cloud version and if you want to, uh, if you are hosted in a Docker container or something, some render file. So this step uh, works in both versions. So let's get started. First thing first, what you have to do is uh, open a new browser and search for canva.dev and hit, hit enter. Before that, you have to add node over here. So in this video, I will just add node, no workflow. So I will just search for HTTP request. And now over here, you can set to get method to post. And from here, you have to enter the URL. So we will go later that. Then uh, we need this generic credential type. From here, you can fully customize and choose between basic, header, or auth, etc. Now, into generic auth type, you have to choose for auth to API. As you can see here, I have already two accounts over here. So if you have, haven't created any of them, just click on this create new credential. Something will pop up in front of you. So this is a auth redirect URL. Copy this and what we need is grant type, authorization URL, access token URL, client ID, client secret, scope, auth URI query parameter, and the authentication. From here, you have to set authentication to body and then go back and choose authentication code to PKCE. This Select this, now copy this and go to apps SDK documents. Now in the top section, you will get the is option of your integration. Just click on that. And as you can see, I have created two integration over here. These are some drafted version. So what we are going to do is just simply create, create a new integration. If you want to create a private version, then you have to have a premium version of Canva. So yeah, I will choose public one. It integrates that can be used by anyone who uses the Canva. Now click on this I agree to the Canva developers term and click on this create integration. Now it will take you to this page. This is a translated into Japanese version, I guess. Okay, this is Japanese. So just ignore this. Now first you have to enter the name of your integration. So I will give the name Canva connection to Anatech. Now over here, as you can see, we get the client ID. Just copy this client ID, go back to your uh, workflow and scroll down a little bit into client ID section. You have to paste this client ID. Now let's move back. And after the client ID in the bottom, you will get to see there is an option of generate secret. It means this is our client secret. Just click on this and as you can see, we generated client secret. Just display and copy this. So make sure you copy your secret now and save it uh, in a safe space. This is your only chance to do so. So make sure that you copied and pasted it somewhere and paste it over here. Now what we need is over here is client secret. We have added client ID as well. Now let's move to scopes. Now, if you go to scope section, you will get set the scope. 
from here scopes define the api method integration is allowed to call from here you have to choose a reading or writing i have, i will select all of these uh, permissions by clicking on the this check mark now uh, from here just make sure you have then selected all of these okay we have selected and go to authentication now scroll down a little bit and here you have to enter the authorized redirect url so go back to your uh, anatent workflow copy this auth redirect url and paste it into url1 section now in the left side you can choose the select redirect url this is optional you don't need to do that now go to return and navigation and go to submit for review now as you can see here we have installed all redirect url urls are non local host add add at least one redirect url enable at least one scope provide a name for the integration so we did all of these things now let's move and before submitting your integration review the details below and click on this submit initial check just go to submit for initial check right now is giving us a incomplete submission we could not confirm the integration or integration setup please test your integration auth flow before submitting so you don't need to submit your integration for approval to test it so okay uh, we are in the test mode so just copy this all of these things and let's check it out now i will attach a google doc over here i will add this google document into our description what you have to do is just uh, copy these things so we have already added a copy and added client id and generated client secrets so we need authorization url and access token so it's all very similar to each other just copy this uh, from the description and paste into oh here authorization url then go back and copy this access token url and then go back paste into access token url now go to scope and we i have already copied all of these scope which i have selected so you don't need to go and copy and select all the scopes individually so you just came to this google document and paste over here now go and see authentication method now i have chosen the authentication method to body now let's uh, add a auth url query parameter just copy this and paste into workflow let's check out if all goes if all the section are filled the grant type is correct authorization url is correct access token is your correct client id we have entered client secret check and scope and then auth uri query parameters as well now just simply click on this connect my account button so the credential successfully has started so i got the error but i have i have fixed the error sometimes the annotant gives the error so how you are going to fix that just open chat gpt and paste uh, whatever the error are you are going with and it will give you the uh, the correct answer of that so my error was this which is uh, the for it is related to scope some scopes are not not given to so i have just changed that so it will help you to uh, solve the problem now just click on this connect my account after that and you will be prompted to this page sorry for this inconvenience because my page is by default is uh, translated into japanese so what you have to do is just click on this button which is uh, basically allow so as you can see here the connection has uh, connected with successfully now just close all of these so uh, in the url section you have to uh, paste this uh, canva url and just execute after that so it will give some error for me because 
it is in testing mode so yeah this is how you can connect the canva to anaton so don't worry about this error just copy this error and paste into chat gpt it will fix so yeah this is how you can connect canva to anaton step by step if you like this video subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching